Hello, this is Big Boss Rescue Chief of Humane Emergency Animal Rescue. Welcome to our series, Animal Rescue Postmortem, where we analyze the good, the bad, and the ugly of animal rescues throughout the world. Welcome back. We're up to volume number six here. And my goodness, are we upsetting people. <laughs> Disturbing some comfort zones apparently there. Alright, like I said, volume six, video number one. This one's going to be a quick one. What we're looking at here is a horse, in case you're not familiar with that. Let's just watch this unfold. This good video is going to be a short one. Did you see how fast that happened? Let's watch that again. I'm just going to let this play out because it'll keep repeating itself. So she's doing something up here under the front. This horse isn't having any of it. And a uh, kick to the head there. This is why I'm always... This is why I'm always saying wear your helmet. Wear an, uh, an appropriate, a he appropriate helmet for rescue that's rated for side impacts. Um, probably a... I'm not sure any helmet that doesn't go down below, like around the ears would have helped in this situation it's hard to tell exactly where the impact makes makes a connection there but you still want a helmet on whenever you're working around these animals like this especially in a rescue situation because this can happen at any any moment for whatever reason and then also don't forget what happens in volume 5 number 11 that guy gets kicked by a horse there so go back and check that video wear your helmet and then let's take a look at this I, I, I know that this nice pointer that you can see over here suddenly disappears this is what I'm always complaining about with the Facebook videos I can't figure out how to make that all of a sudden track over but anyway so now the the pinpoint pointer that you're looking at look at look at the distance this horse can kick out there like that way up in the air and out that's pretty amazing wear your helmets everybody wear your helmets when you're out here working with these animals in a rescue situation it's just it's just a a good policy to have to protect yourself or at least help protect yourself it may not impact the helmet get you right in the front or the side of the face there but if you have your helmet in place you, you have a you have some protection okay I don't wrap it up I go to the website sign up for our email newsletter you get all our notifications about everything but we don't spam you it's gonna be you can set it up to like a once a week thing don't forget that if you find it in your heart, you can make a donation to us on their website. And if you need to contact us, use the contact form there. Please, 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 please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's absolutely free. Like and share the videos over there um, on your social media with your friends, coworkers. We really try to gear these videos towards people who are in animal welfare who are going to go out and field out in the field and deal with these situations out, out here with animals um, to uh, be better prepared and expect the unexpected all right what else you know help us grow the channel support our mission by doing that and then don't forget to leave a comment down below your uh, video suggestion links and a little brief description would really help if you put that down in the comment section. If that doesn't work, go over to the contact form there on the website. Thank you for the love and support. We really do appreciate it. And, in the, and the people who go out of their minds when they don't like the video's content, we like that too. Any kind of, any kind of interaction that people can give to the, the channel is good interaction as far as we're concerned. See you next time.